Dear Mr. El Hachem, the president of the Beirut Bar Association. Dear Mr. Nizar Sagi and dear friends. Let me start by greeting the legal agenda and its partner organizations, uh, the Lebanese Physical Handicap Union and the Schoon Lebanese Association Center for all the work that they have been able to accomplish in the framework of this project called Civil Observatory for the Independence and Transparency of the Judiciary. The European Union, uh, oh, sorry, do you want to? Uh, Go ahead. Do you want me to translate? Yeah, just section by section. Yeah. Okay. بعد القاء التحية على حضرة نقيب أنطونيو الهاشم والأستاذ نزار صغية والأصدقاء عرب سيد ألكسيس لوبر رئيس وحدة التعاون ببعثة الاتحاد الأوروبي في لبنان عن سروره بهذا الندوة كما وجه تحية للمفكرة القانونية والمنظمات الشريكة إلى اتحاد المقعدين اللبنانيين وجمعية سكون مثنيا على العمل لتمك تمكنا من تحقيقه في إطار المشروع الممول من الاتحاد الأوروبي. The uh, European Union uh, decided to support this project because because it's very much in line with our values, our core values and principles, which is promoting access to justice and the right to a fair trial. We have a long tradition of bilateral cooperation with the Lebanese justice authorities, including with the ministry. Uh, and the judicial institutions. Our projects seek to address key issues relating to the transparency and especially independence of the judiciary, including pushing for the necessary reforms and building capacities of judiciary actors, such as judges, prosecutors, clerks, and so on. أثنى السيد لوبر على التعاون الثنائي مع طويل مع الجهات القضائية اللبنانية لا سيما وزارة العدل والقضاء مشيرا له هذا المشروع بصب في صميم القيم والمبادئ الأساسية للاتحاد منها تعزيز الوصول للعدالة والحق بالمحاكمة العادلة وأضاف السيد لوبر للمشاريع العمل اللي عم بتقوم فيها الاتحاد الأوروبي بلبنان of course, we also work with lawyers, as is the case with an ongoing project which aims to strengthen the legal aid commissions in Beirut and uh, Tripoli Bar Associations and provide direct legal aid services to the most vulnerable. Some results have been achieved to date, but the socio-political context remains challenging and hence there's still a lot of work to be done and a lot of progress to be achieved. Uh, this is a case, for instance, uh, for the ongoing EU-funded projects aiming at introducing automated case management si systems in the courts of justice. Uh, a court cannot be very effective if it still has to manage paper-based files, uh, and there, are effective, there is effective software on the market, um, and uh, the computer's hardware, of course. Uh, judges should and clerks should be able to process cases using contemporary uh, IT systems. Um, so in terms of efficiency and effectiveness of the judiciary, but also in terms of transparency uh, of its works and accountabilities, these are important factors uh, to get the judiciary to work in an effective manner. كما أضاف السيد لوبر للمشاريع التعاون مع نقبتي المحامين ببيروت وترابلوس لسيما من خلال لجان المعونة القضائية وأشار أنه بعض النتائج تحققت بس تحديات السياسية والاجتماعية بتأثر على هذا النتائج وهذا الوضع بنظام إدخال المعلومات الآلية اللي أشار إليه We've mentioned judicial institutions, we've mentioned lawyers but not yet civil society. Civil society has a crucial role to play to ensure the impartiality and independence of the judiciary and the promotion of adequate reforms in conformity with international standards. And this is applicable to Lebanon, but also to other countries across the region. أعرب السيد لوبر عن أهمية الشراكة مع منظمات المجتمع المدني إلى جانب بناء قدرات المؤسسات الرسمية معتبر أنه أهمية هذا الموضوع بينطبق على لبنان والدول المجاورة. As you know, one of the initiatives has been the creation of an independent judiciary, uh, judicial observatory by civil society. Through this project funded by the EU, Legal Agenda has been able to follow 
Tunisian and Moroccan examples and set up an observatory in Lebanon to allow law practitioners, NGOs, and activists to better monitor uh, the work of judiciary and docu and uh, sorry to better monitor uh, the work of the ju judiciary and document possible breaches of the principles of impartial impartiality and independence during court proceedings. We are delighted to see such a level of regional cooperation, and we are hoping that more. Uh, countries in the region will follow the example, hence sensitizing further all actors about judicial independence issues and technicalities. ذكر السيد لوبر بأن أهم مبادرات في البلدان العربية كانت من خلال إنشاء المراصد القضائية من قبل المجتمع المدني مشيرا إلى أن المفكرة القانونية من خلال هذا المشروع تمكنت من الالتحاق بالتجارب العربية. وهذا المصدر المرصد بلبنان بمكن حقوقيين الجمعيات الناشطين من رصد أعمال القضاء وتوثيق الانتهاكات المحتملة. So, in closing, I would like to encourage you to have a very fruitful exchange, and I look forward to listening to all of the contributions. Thank you.